Hi guys, Marlis here. Kindred got a new skin, which is pretty exciting. So I thought I'd do a quick reaction video. I'm a total nobody, so what I think really isn't that important. But I just wanted to throw my voice in anyway as part of the uh, the hype or the whining that accompanies uh, this type of thing. So yeah, I love Kindred. They were the characters that actually attracted me to play the game in the first place. Um, and I'm going to just say right now, I do not care about pronouns. Um, they, she, he, I'm going to say she a few times, and I just have to ask you to get over it or stop listening. So yeah, my first love in League, and I recently decided I was going to uh, come back to them this year. Uh, and then the skin dropped, and it's all, uh, you know, it's happy days. So first of all, my take on the splash art is that it is freaking gorgeous. The smooth white and blue colour scheme just looks so good. And echoes the colours of the base skin, which cards on the table I still think is the best model Riot has ever produced. Not sure what's going on with the fish theme, but uh, maybe it's some sort of yin and yang thing that I don't understand. Uh, but I think they look great. And Wolf's mask there is looking pretty awesome. Although I wonder if a little bit more could be done with his body and tail. Obviously, the elephant in the room is that lamb is in fact not a lamb. But it's been humanised in uh, what Reddit informs me is, is, is some kind of cynical bid to sell the skin in China. And I couldn't begin to speculate on the veracity of such claims. But I can definitely see where a bit of creeping worry comes in, in that we've got two humanised um, lamb skins back to back with the Spirit Blossom and now the Porcelain Kindred. That maybe Riot is trying to phase out the anthropomorphised like monster style uh, lamb that we all know and love. I very much hope that doesn't happen, uh, but I think it's a little bit too soon to fire at the pitchforks just yet. I think it's pretty fair to say this uh, concept art is pretty damn good, and I can totally uh, get on board with the satyr style theme going on here. And thank god they didn't sex her up and put like a cleavage on show and a short skirt and uh, some stuff like that. It's fine for female characters to be portrayed attractively, but they don't all have to be dressed up like tarts. I do have to admit, at first glance, I wasn't particularly taken with the half mask and the, uh, the rather bland, uh, kind of overly smoothed features of the, the lower face um, and the strange ears. But the more I'm looking at it now, it's starting to grow on me a little bit. The mask and the unlammy lamb have been causing a bit of controversy, um, and so uh, I think the Kindred Reddit is uh, now chock full of uh, people re-editing the splash art uh, in their, with their own ideas. And I just put up a few examples I found uh, here that I thought were pretty cool with a more ghostly or ethereal skinned compromise uh, there on the left, uh, which does look uh, pretty damn good. Um, so the, the kind of the full mask with uh, the lamb ears and, uh, and fur in the middle, which I think is personally my favourite. You know, if, if Riot had released that, uh, I would be, you know, that would be a very strong contender for best skin in, uh, for Kindred. Um, it wouldn't beat the base skin, but uh, it would be pretty pretty up there. Uh, and then we've got this the sort of half mask with lamb face, uh, which yeah, it's okay. Uh, there's something a bit weird about it. Maybe it's the blindfold and the slight smile. I don't know. So yeah, I think I prefer any of these over the one that it looks like we're actually going to get. But that doesn't really change the fact that uh, that one in a vacuum is still pretty freaking cool. So with all that said, I'm going to move on to my thoughts about the character model in game. I'll say up front, when I watched it being played on the PBE by Godly Polo, I did notice there was like a, um, a high-pitched kind of glass noise uh, every time she takes an auto and, and on, on, on several of the Kindred's abilities, uh, which could get a little bit irritating. Potentially. Maybe get used to it. A bit like the, uh, the, the Shen bonk on uh, his uh, um, TPA skin. The recall animation uh, represented there in the top left it's fine, I guess. I don't really understand the snakes. It's quite dynamic. Um, yeah, I think it's just, I, given how good some of the other uh, visual effects are in this in this skin, I just thought that it didn't quite do the, re uh, the rest of it justice. Top middle is the porcelain mark of the kindred, and I like it. It's smooth, it's bright, it's uh, you know glowy, it looks nice. Dance of Arrows in the top right is nice. It's got the little gold and white and blue effects on the arrows. Uh, the sound is a bit annoying. But again, maybe you get used to it. The hands are fully human on the base skin. They're kind of like clumpy or like three fingered. I don't really know what's going on. Uh, but yeah, like that's I don't care about the hands. 
W seems a bit lackluster. There is some nice kind of like gold trimming around the edges, and I get that uh, they want to keep things faint, and you know <laughs> you don't want uh, this giant circle taking up too much attention um, on the screen. Otherwise, that would just get in the way of the game. So I can understand why they didn't make it more flashy. Um, but yeah, yeah, could have maybe could done it a little bit more. And for the death animation, Wolf rejoins with Lamb and they fade into this kind of like ash or shadow silhouette that makes them look a bit like they've been run over and have been chalk outlined, which is kind of fun. So this is the E animation, and um, when you first uh, throw it out, um, which is that picture on the, on the left, I think it looks fantastic. I really like that. Um, and the symbol styling when it's on the, uh, on the target is quite nice, uh, but there have been a lot of complaints about the contrast. And I have to agree, it's not the easiest thing to see if you actually hit the second, uh, the second attack, um, as that small uh, kind of symbol is, is directly underneath their legs and it's not so bright. And if they have the power to change it to uh, make it look a bit clearer, I would encourage them to do so. And that brings us finally to the alt, which is phenomenal. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Those two great big yin-yang fish swimming around underneath you. I think, you know, Everyone's just going to sit there, stop attacking, you know, cease fire, have a little, you know, just enjoy the spectacle of those calm little fish swimming around uh, before we get back to massacring each other. And isn't that just what Labs of Spice is all about? Also, how funny would it be if Fizz the result just as it ended? You couldn't be mad. So yeah, those are my hot takes on the new porcelain kindred skin. Hope you found them interesting and I'll catch you on the next one.